Over the years, I have been very privileged as a priest to be able to share in the wisdom of a number of, of other priests. Um, sometimes I've had to put up with the stupidity of some priests, but we won't go into that today. We'll just focus on the wisdom. In particular, when I was first ordained, my pastor that I worked with, and I would say who really taught me what it means to be a priest, we had a we were in a parish that we had a, a Catholic school, um, much like we have with Saint Ignatius now. Um, and twice a year, the school during Advent and during Lent, they would bring all of the kids over for school confessions. Just one grade after another. Just the two of us, kid after kid after kid. And the pastor, he had the most wonderful way of describing the process. He said, it's like being bitten to death by baby ducks. <laughs> but I think of, of that, and you know, this year, we had that both with St. Ignatius and with our large religious ed classes, and even our, our junior high group, we had a lot of children's confessions. And far and away, the most confessed sin, fault, difficulty, whatever you would want to say, that the kids would bring to the sacrament over and over again. I fought with my brothers or sisters. Of course you did. Why wouldn't we? I mean, I'm sorry, but as we celebrate this feast of the Holy Family, Jesus had it easy. He was an only child. His parents knew he was God, and somehow that made a difference. Family, very often, is the biggest challenge that we face in growing up. Learning how to get along, learning how to accept, learning boundaries and rules. And not just occasionally with friends, but day after day after day after day after day. With people that... We didn't even choose. They were forced on us. Yeah. If I hadn't had all that, maybe I could have been part of a holy family too. <laughs> of course, my brothers and sisters probably thought that about me also. Holy family. Maybe, if we are going to consider that term, maybe not looking at it as it applies to us as, you know, having that adjective. Is my family holy? How holy is our family? But maybe looking at it a different way. 
What if holy family means that our family will be our primary path to holiness? With the challenges, with the difficulties, with the misunderstandings and the fights, but also with the special and tender moments, with the blessings, with the awareness of how important it is to belong. Once upon a time, there was this young man, Peter Patrick, who could hardly wait to go off to college. Starting halfway through his junior year in high school, he decided that his family was ruining his life almost every day. His father was a tyrant who didn't know what it was like to be a teenager. His mother was a crab. His younger sister was a spy. His younger brother like a total dork and a nuisance too. The summer before he went to college was sheer agony. He learned in one of his classes that some guy he thought it was probably a German, said that hell is other people. The guy was certainly right. Hell, in fact, is your family, especially when you're young. So college began. It wasn't as much fun as Peter Patrick had expected. In fact, it wasn't any fun at all. He couldn't find the way to his classes. His advisor was never in. He didn't know where the mailboxes were. He didn't figure out how to get his laundry done. The food was terrible. The teachers were creeps. The other students were dorks. The women were stuck up. Some of his fellow freshmen were drunk every night of the week. The dorm smelled of vomit all the time. There was never any quiet to study, even if he wanted to. College, he finally admitted to himself, was a big mistake. Peter Patrick told his parents when he called to ask for more money that he loved it. College was great. College was wonderful. He wasn't sure he could make it till Thanksgiving. He told all his friends that he loved college. They replied that they did too. It was wonderful to be on your own. He didn't want to go back after Thanksgiving because Christmas felt like it was probably a couple of years away. At Christmas, he acted like he was a condemned man on death row. Finally, a girl he knew named Sheila said to him, Petey Pat, you hate college like we all do because there's no one there who loves us like our families did. Don't try to fool me. Well, said Peter Patrick, what should I do? Email, said Sheila, who was very smart. That way you can talk to your parents and your siblings. <laughs> she actually said siblings every day. It will be almost like being home. So Peter Patrick got himself an email account and talk to his family every day. He said to Sheila the next time he saw her, the guy, probably a German, was wrong. Hell isn't other people. Heaven is. Maybe in 2018, we can each remember that a little bit more.